Hey, casual tutorial time. Anyway, this episode is about redirects. Basically, a redirect is any time when the yo-yo is moving in one direction and you want to get it moving in a different direction. Suffice to say, normally when you're playing with the yo-yo, you do want it to be maintaining its momentum. Like, if you throw a brake lane that's spinning in this direction, it's better to flip it in that direction rather than, say, you throw that brake away stop everything, and then go in the opposite direction. It can be useful, but it's the sort of thing that you're going to want to be doing deliberately, rather than just sort of going at it all willy-nilly, as it were. So, um, the basic, I'm going to say the basic redirect would be redirecting out of a trapeze. So basically what you're going to do is, you throw a breakaway, and then when the yo-yo hits the string, instead of letting it settle in, you just bounce it right off and the yo-yo will go in the opposite direction. So, go, bounce, 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 bounce. Okay, so that is a little trick you can do that is all about those, well, I guess what I'm gonna call trapeze redirects. And if you're better than me, you can get pretty consistent with them. They're not, you know, super hard, so. Yeah. If you're me, you're going to make a lot of mistakes, but that's something you can practice at. Okay, so that's a good one. Another one that's pretty basic, pretty easy, would be um, redirecting from a double on. So, let's say you're in a trapeze, and let's say you've already settled in now, and you need a way to get going in the opposite direction. What you can do is, you can double on and then roll off. So, get that right, you're in the trapeze, you bounce. Okay, so, again, that's one that's not too bad. You should be able to figure it out. You can also get a very similar one to that from a wrist mount. So, you're in the wrist mount, you go once, then you can double on before going in the opposite direction. So, there, double on, and then you can magic drop, do whatever you want. Okay, so... That's a good one, okay? So that's a double on redirect, is what I'm going to call it for now. Okay, and uh, next would be some things that are a little more unusual, they're a little more difficult, and sort of, when people are talking about being confused about how to do redirects, these are the ones that are sort of the weird ones, okay? And one of them would be sort of from the end of the string, just doing a, like throwing a break away, getting it into the air, and then pulling it back down. That one can be a little difficult. I'm not great at it. Um, if you want some good examples of that, Yamo Harada does it, I think, twice in his Asia Pacific performance from this year. So I'll have a link to that in the Reddit thread, probably. So that's a good one. Basically, you swing the yo yo up into the air when it then when it gets to the top, you let it stall, and then you just pull it straight down. Okay, so if you go up, pull it straight down. You can also do a similar thing from a 1.5 mount. If you swing this up, you can just let it stall in the air there. Uh, it's a little difficult because it's going to want to try falling out of the mount, but if you're careful, you can get that to go fairly well. Okay, and that's one where you're going to be figuring out your own ways to get that to work well. And sort of, I gotta say this is the last one we're gonna deal with, is sort of, sort of a nebulous sort of thing because it falls into the other categories a little bit, but sort of the idea of doing redirects while the yo-yo is in the mount, sort of, I'm gonna call it a structural um, redirect. So, an example might be, let's say you're in a wrist mount, Okay, roll once, grab this middle string, then you can see you can do this. Um, I've heard some people call this an impact redirect, so, because sort of it looks like you're doing an impact sort of thing. It's a little bit difficult to do, but if you want to do something like that, it's best if you time it with the music, but basically it's like you can hit on this side, you can hit on this side, then you can get out however you want. And another good example of this, not sure I'll be able to do it, but we'll try, was I saw in a Betty Gallegos video she did um, 
Let's see if I can do it. From a Z flip, land on the back string, pinch the string, then pull everything over so you're in a pseudo um, kamikaze mount. Flip over to this side. She then grabs this string here and then does a redirect off of one of those strings. So again, that's the sort of thing where you'll have to watch her original video to learn the um, actual combo she does, but basically you get a, an opportunity for a redirect there. Go try it one more time. Wish me luck. So there, back string, up there, there, boom. Okay, so you bounce off of the structure there. So once you bounce off the structure, then you can go do other parts of the trick. Okay, so, so that's a bunch of really good ideas for look, looking for redirects. You should try working them into your techniques or TLDR redirects or any time that you want to change the direction of the yo-yo, the sort of the macroscopic direction of it. You can change the rotation of it by doing regens, but the, the macroscopic direction you change using redirects. And some good tricks to practice your basic um, redirects would be things like rewind, which I already demoed for you. Of course, I'm not great at it. Okay, so rewind is a great trick to practice those basic ones. Also, um, skim the gerbil is good for practicing flow and redirects because basically, if you can land it well, unlike me, basically the entire trick is about being conscious of how you're doing your redirects. Well, anyway, you know, long video. By the end, my skills get pretty weak. So those are good ones to practice your basic redirects. Also, when you're looking at redirects, you can do consider structural redire redirects, like impact redirects. That's a good thing to do. And if you're feeling a little adventurous, a lot of these sort of end of the string stall redirects can be pretty cool. Anyway, if you have been liking it, uh, it might be a good idea for you to give me a like on Reddit and or YouTube. A subscription on YouTube lets me know that I'm doing a good job. If you think that the video is bad, that's okay. Um, it's okay if you um, dislike it on Reddit and or YouTube, that's cool. But if you do that, please leave a comment. Because if you just dislike it, then that's just mean spirit. I want to know what the problem is so I can fix it, you know, so I can do better. You can also ask for, um, you, you can make requests. Um, if you give me ideas for future videos, sometimes they make it in. You know, and if you try doing any of these techniques and think they're interesting, it might be fun for you to make a video of yourself doing them. Yeah? So yeah, let me know how that goes. And uh, if you have been liking it, 